Previously on Batman Arkham Knight. You're Robin, Jason. You're not what he made you. Stop! Stop talking to me! in that abandoned wing of Arkham for over a year! With him! It's not too late. We can fix this. Together. Alfred, it's... I found Jason. Excuse me, sir. I, I must have misheard you. For a moment, I thought you said that you'd found Master Todd. You heard right. My god, is he all right? No. No, he's not. So in case you missed it, the Arkham Knight is really Jason Todd, the second Robin, who was not in fact killed by Joker, but who is still on the loose after we decided to let him go. Oh, guess that's the end of the Arkham Knight. He chose the name himself, you know. <laughs> Bless him. Where better to try the man crazy than in the madhouse? Oh, I've missed that place, don't you? Who knows? Maybe we'll end up back there one day, eh? We need to get up to the roof. Scarecrow's there. What happened? I went after Crane. Got caught. Jim. I'm sorry about Barbara. Don't. Let's just get this over with. So wait a minute, if Gordon was sitting there for that whole boss fight, he must have heard Jason call me Bruce. I wonder if he's put two and two together. I should have stopped him. Jim, look out! Oh. Ooh. <laughs> I guess I should have stopped him too. All right, so we've got four soldiers and a lieutenant, but the big guy's using electricity, which makes him vulnerable to the remote electrical charge. Ooh, that kick just took out two guys at once, but I got distracted by how cool that was and wasn't able to capitalize. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep zapping the big guy to keep him off balance. Now punching this guy up the stairs into a roundhouse kick, and one more electrical charge just for good measure, and cape stun into beatdown, into takedown. Kick, uppercut, cross, combat over. You okay, Jim? I've been worse. So our new primary objective is to confront and apprehend Scarecrow. Gordon claims he's up on the roof, but I'm not sure how he would know that. Jim, I just want to say, working with Barbara, it was an honor. Don't. Even if you'd known what she was doing, you couldn't have stopped her. Stubborn, like our old man. Brave. You know, you see a lot in this job, a lot of pain, a lot of suffering. But I'll never forget taking a witness statement from an eight-year-old boy who'd just seen his parents gunned down. You were kind, Jim. I was thinking I may never get a chance to tell you this, to say sorry. You don't need to. We're the same, Bruce. We'd do anything for our family. So I guess Jim has figured it out, and he now knows who I am. Come on. And I guess his intel about Scarecrow was correct. There he is on the roof. Now again, watch how the music from Batman the Animated Series perfectly fits with this cutscene. On your knees, Crane. Now. So you did it. I must admit I had my doubts that you could make this happen. I'm not asking again. And I'm not talking to you. It is time. Time for what? Jim. I'm sorry. It was the only way. Get me my daughter. Dad! Barbara. Are you alright? Did he hurt you? What are you doing? Call in the transport. We're leaving. Yes, sir. 
It is time for the people of Gotham to see their savior for who he truly is. A man, just a man, devoid of hope, betrayed by his friends, crippled by fear. Let her go! You both still have a part to play. We had a deal. <laughs> Once I understood your greatest fear, controlling you was simple. You blame yourself for her condition. You need to protect her, but buried deep down is the inevitability that you will one day fail. And that fear makes you mine. Think very carefully about your next move, Commissioner. Her life depends on it. Oh. Dad! No! Oh. Did you think I wanted him dead? Did you think that would save your daughter? Do you know what happens when a man refuses to be controlled by his fears? He must face them. No! Take me! Please, it's not her you want! Take me! You don't scare me. Shh. It's okay to be afraid. Rescue. Are you hurt? I thought Dad killed you. He knew what he was doing. There! Where are they taking you? Okay, and we're back. What's this? Oh boy, here come more tanks. Us without the Batmobile. I don't know how our hero's gonna get out of this one. See, the problem here is that you already know there's just going to be some excuse to bring back the Batmobile. Where's the Batmobile? Destroyed. What? Don't worry. Lucius made a spare. What? A spare? Of course. It couldn't possibly be that easy. They couldn't just let those tank battles die. All right, now here's the Batwing. Are you telling me the Batwing doesn't have any purpose other than to drop off the Batmobile? Sir, the car has a full complement of upgrades, including an improved weapons generator. Ugh, at least it's more powerful than the original version. Drone unit in Otisburg is down! Scarecrow's going to kill him, isn't he? Not while he can use him to get to me. I mean, for all my complaining, we would be just dead without the Batmobile. Oh, how chivalrous. Remember the time you carried me like that? I don't, because I was dead. I'll get you set up at the precinct. We'll find your father. So let me get this straight. Lucius went through all the trouble to make a spare Batmobile, and he couldn't even be bothered to paint it? And our new objective is to take Oracle to GCPD? Barbara, Scarecrow manipulated me. I watched you die. He gassed you, Bruce. You don't need to worry about us or feel responsible. We're fighting with you, not for you, okay? It's good to have you back. I'll say. Cash, I found Barbara. I'm bringing her to the lockup. She's alive. Thank God. What about Gordon? He was captured by Scarecrow. You've got to be kidding me. We'll get him back, Cash. Where's Tim? Is he okay? I left him at the movie studios. He's fine. Yeah, if by fine you mean locked up and totally defenseless. Barbara, it's great to see you. Hello, Aaron. It's been a while. Barbara's gonna be helping out here. Whatever you say. She work for you now? Hell, what am I saying? We all do, right? No, no, you work with me, not for me. Oracle was very clear on that earlier. Okay, let's see. First, establish comms with the clock tower computer. 
they really should upgrade these machines. Yeah, at the expense of the taxpayers. You know, we deserve to hold on. Oh. What the hell was that? Trouble. With a capital T, and that comes after S, and that stands for Scarecrow. Gallant police force of Gotham, I have a message for you. You are not safe. You are not protected. Batman will not save you. This is the beginning of the end for you, Dark Knight. Like hell it is. The Bat computer's back online, Batman. I'll do what I can. All these years later, and I've still got a soft spot for little Barbara Gordon. Fortunately, mine's not right between the vertebrae. Keep your guns trained on that door. We are not dying in here. We've come too far. Let's show them what it means to be GCPD! Yeah, you tell them, Sergeant Hanrahan. Now let's see what's going on out here. Okay, everything seems to be... Whoa! Cash! Full lockdown. Now! So there's a couple of APCs full of guys, but as they're doing their little clown car routine, I'll take this time to sabotage a couple of the medics quickly with the disruptor. See? Already paying off. That medic tried to buff up his teammate, and he got zapped for his trouble. There's one medic left, but this guy's right up on me. So time to use the Batmobile to help knock him out. And as always, the lead pipe is going to do some work. Now there's still one active medic who can not only revive his teammates, but he can also give them some protection. That guy has an electrified suit? That's no match for an electrified car. Because if it wasn't bad enough getting struck by a vehicle, the Batmobile also delivers a bonus electrical shock. And of course I can use the riot suppressor in mid-combat. And this guy somehow got a hold of a gun, so let's take him out real quick. So let's zap the guy with a stun stick. Ow! Electricity is my greatest weakness. Now let's use detective mode to see if anyone picked up that firearm. Yep, sure enough. Okay, so I think what happened there is that the active medic revived one of the medics who I had sabotaged at the start, not realizing that he would still be sabotaged when he woke up, so that first medic ended up getting zapped twice. And if stuff in this combat is a little hard to see because of all the flashing lights, I think that's intentional. It's supposed to be part of the challenge. And leaving the medic for last? Not usually a great strategy, but it seems to have worked out here. Cash, open the shutter doors. I'm trying, Batman. Power's out. This is it. They're gonna tear the building apart. Batman, the schematics say there's a generator on the outside of the building. Go! Alright, so I'm guessing the best way to make it to the outside of the building is to find some obstacle I can pull down with the Batmobile's power winch. Now to aim my eject strike right at the hole I just created. Because using the grapple gun is for suckers. These bozos in blue put their faith in you, Bats! They believed in you! They turned a blind eye all those times you took the law into your own hands. <laughs> and now, you're gonna get them all killed! <laughs> Alright, Joker is enjoying this way too much. But we're almost to the roof. Ah, if only old Jimbo were here to see this. So many tanks. This really is Batman's worst nightmare. This is worse than any fear toxin. Alright, there's a flying drone guarding the entrance, but I can blind that with a remote hacking device. It should give me enough time to jump down and get inside. <laughs> it's a good thing that tank almost got inside before the doors closed. I can power up the backup generator to get those doors open. It seems like we should have just done that from the start. 
then I wouldn't have seen that nice overhead view of all the tanks converging on the GCPD. Oracle, the backup generator is online. Good. Oh, I get it. The door was closed. Head to the car and I'll... What? No way! What is it? A vulnerability in the militia's network. Idiots. I think I can hijack their drones. Good. Get ready for a fight. Ready, Batman? Ready, Oracle. I'll be out there fighting alongside you. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Let's finish this. And here we go! Oh, just kidding. <laughs> I'm obviously gonna take out that flyer guarding the entrance before I head out. So here's how this fight is supposed to go down. There's 60 tanks out here, and Oracle is helping by hacking certain ones so that good things happen when you shoot them. Target selected. Beginning hack now. Which I'll show you right after this missile barrage. I primed my tank to explode. Just fire the shot. See? That tank just took out a bunch of its neighbors. But the problem with this strategy, just like with Ivy in the churchyard, is that it leaves you exposed on all sides if you want to take advantage of the help she's offering. He's hitting us hard. So that EMP temporarily disabled those tanks, but I was hit like five times trying to get over there. He's just wasted. We're not equipped to deal with this, sir. I've got exploding tanks. EMP strike. Takeover protocol initiated. EMP ready to go. Take your shot. See, now there's no chance I can go after those tanks that Oracle's hacking, because I have to stay on the defensive after taking so many early hits, which never ends well. Target selected. Beginning hack now. I got him! Well, so much for that. And this death cinematic is a big part of the game for anyone who's struggled through trying to complete this sequence. Someone put a lot of work into this, assuming that you were gonna get killed a lot. So that was my attempt at going out there and making it as exciting as possible. Initiating hack. But now I'm gonna show you the strategy that actually works. Tank hacked. The been taken out. If you break through this wood paneling on the stage left side of the GCPD, you can go into this alleyway and create a bottleneck which forces the tanks to come to you. See? Those missiles can't even reach me from here. Hacking drone. Now I can just sit back and take them out one at a time. Batman, I primed my tank to explode. Just fire the shot. Yeah, see, I'm not doing that. I mean, it's tempting to take advantage of Oracle's help. Guards bypass, core temperature rising. Finish it off. But no, it's not safe out there. Takeover protocol initiated. See, normally I'd have to waste time and energy shooting those missiles out of the air, but back here I'm protected on three out of four sides. Down. It's not very glamorous, but sometimes you gotta play it smart rather than flashy. Hacking drone. Lost the diamond. Tank under control. Okay, now with only ten tanks left and a fully charged missile barrage ready, I think I can take out the rest all at once. Got hit a couple times in the process, but it was worth it. Multiple units offline. Wait, there's two left? What are those things? Oh, they're two heavy-duty missile launchers. They must have been airdropped in. They require multiple hits each. They're the perfect bosses for this encounter, since they're the only things that aren't punished by my running and hiding strategy. But think how much worse they would have made it if I'd stayed out in the open. Cauldron unit destroyed. Well, not quite. Now the cauldron unit's destroyed. And with that, we head to the end of Act 2. There's nothing left, sir. Nothing. You played your part. Now Batman will play his. All drones destroyed. We did it! I appreciate your busy, Batman. What with all the other criminal masterminds on the loose. But I assure you, my scheme is by far the most intellectually engaging. So get thee to the train yard. A challenge in the cauldron train yard. Fine, Nigma. I'll play your games, and I'll win. Selena's life depends on it. And now, with no other missions remaining, it's time to finally tackle these Riddler challenges. Ah, Detective, you arrived! I thought Catwoman's little predicament might encourage your participation. I realized, you see, that the kind of image-obsessed narcissist who places bat symbols on his hubcaps would never willingly submit himself to the kind of humiliation I have in store. Yet, here you are, Detective. <laughs> the humiliation is waiting. 
Well then, detective, it begins. You are staring, <clears throat> with stupefied incomprehension, at a mechanism I have calibrated to respond to an extremely precise radar pulse. Radar pulse. In a moment, I will give you the decrypted code, Dark Knight. Oh, but first, I think we should run through the ground rules for tonight's festivities. Rule <gasps> What? What? How did you... How did you... Solve tonight's very first riddle. <laughs> well done. Well done. Welcome to my racetrack, detective. You must complete three circuits of this gauntlet, finishing each before the time limit expires. So I can perform a wheel spin or do a little showboating. I also have to activate the Riddler blockades. Okay, so I have to open these doors. I have to create these roads. Tick-tock, detective. Tick-tock. This is like the Bowser's Castle of Arkham Knight. Can that ram shackle motor handle this? All right, I have to drive on the wall here. This part is more like F-Zero than Mario Kart. And now I have to create this ramp. And also the landing. Faster, Dark can those flickering, faltering synapses keep up with my automatically adjusting course? Ooh, automatically adjusting, so every lap is going to be different. I'm disabling the afterburner's failsafe. I need the extra speed. I'm shocked, Dark Knight. Is that really as fast as it goes? Oh, right. I can use the afterburner as much as I want now, which is a lot like the infinite mushroom in Mario Kart. Brain of yours. Oh, skidding out a little bit. Get into position, use the afterburners to get back on track. And you know, driving on the walls like this is also kind of like Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. Such a pity I couldn't show you the Riddler mobile. It, uh, it's in the shop. Once more onto the track, Dark Knight. Once more! Careful, ah. detective. I'd like the car to be working when I'm done. Don't worry, a little dent here and there won't go amiss. Pay attention, detective. Go left. Whoa, I have to drive on the wall the whole time. Luckily, this is child's play compared to the Arkham Knight's excavator. Even with these moving floors. Aren't things clearer now that that insane clown has been disposed of? Now you know who your real nemesis is. Okay, I've got to make that ramp and then move the blockade in midair. Whew, done. Relax, Dark Knight. The ordeal is over. <sighs> Such a pity the laws of physics prohibit me from testing my non-Euclidean designs. Now then, detective. detective, hop on the pressure pad beside me. Hopping on the pressure pad in style. Listen okay, so if I go to the base of the imaginary triangle, then the green one is the one on the left. Back in the orphanage, a series of glass cabinets have appeared in front of Catwoman. <laughs> I an Eddie. Good. One of those cabinets, my dear, has your first key inside. Okay, Batman. Let's see if you're as smart as they say. The others? The, the others. They contain keys that will unlock the admittedly slight contents of your skull all over the orphanage walls. Oh, nine on the collar? I get it, like nine lives. One down. Well, well done to the pair of you! That's the first key collected. Um, to the orphanage, hero! It's time to rejoin Catwoman for another trial. Riddler's losing Alfred, and that makes him dangerous. And perhaps the real challenge is tolerating his relentless self-aggrandizing commentary. Yeah, that commentary sure gets annoying after what? Oh, wait. You're back. I said I'd get you out of here. I know. It's just... <sighs> nothing. Let's get to the next room, okay? Before my head explodes. Hey, Bats. When did Catwoman get so cute? Must have been when I started looking out of your eyes, hmm? You gonna ask her out or what? Well, hello again to my favorite comedy double act. Double, double. I'd just like to say what a novelty it's been constructing riddle chambers for two half-wits instead of one. Why, that's practically a whole wit between you. <laughs> Dark Knight, 
When you failed your feline friend and are done mourning over her headless corpse, headless corpse. perhaps we'll do this again with uh, Robin. <laughs> can you get up there? The ceiling? Easy. She can get up on the ceiling as a class feature. This is your chance with Catwoman, Batsy. She's vulnerable, trapped in an abandoned orphanage. That sure spells romance to me. So looking at the question mark as a map of the other character's floor, Batman has to start right in the middle. If it doesn't have walls. And Catwoman's got to go bottom left. Oh, you're not still torn up about Talia al Ghul, are you? Come on, it's been months. Even the worms that ate her corpse have probably forgotten about it by now. You know, I had to disable a security system like this when I robbed Queen Industry. Never mind. Halfway Oops, <laughs> I got now greedy there. Final twist. Tried to predict the puzzle. Twist. You're really gonna turn down this fine opportunity for romance just because I blew your last girlfriend's lungs out? <laughs> Take a tip from your wingman, Brucey. The ladies hate it when you brood over the ex you failed to save. Nearly there, Selina. So Joker dies, takes half the crime in Gotham with him, and I don't hear from you for months. What's that about? I've been busy. Mm-hmm. Done on this side. Now I gotta figure out the rest of Catwoman's puzzle. Look, I know you two are close, but you've gotta get back out there. Meet new maniacs. You can't mourn him forever. He left some loose ends behind. Okay, done over here. Congratulations! And now your reward! Robot! Yes, combat is the most rewarding end of Act 3. So these Riddler bots appear to be color-coded. Red and blue, two colors of the magic color wheel. Catwoman has no trouble hitting the red ones, which I guess means that Batman can hit the blue ones. So the dual takedown turns one of them green, which means either one can take it out. We just stomped on that guy's face. Because remember, we're allowed to destroy these robots in the most brutal way possible. Because they're made of non-organic material, we're not technically killing anything. And back to Catwoman for the last two. She uses her whip like Batman uses his cape to do a stunning strike into a beatdown. And an instant takedown for the last one, sliding in and going for the circuitry in the neck. And that should be it. The key, take the key. I suppose you just about earned it. And now we've got another key to unlock on Catwoman's collar. And hey, remember when there were nine lives the last time we looked at it? Whoops, looks like we've skipped a bit. I'm just giving you the highlights because this mission goes on literally forever. Seriously, Eddie, how much longer is this going to take? Well, how clever the pair of you must feel. How smug. Well, I hate to intrude upon this miserable little moment of victory, but I wanted you to be aware you're very unlikely to see one another again. Catwoman, the Batman will fail you, because waiting for him beneath Ronala Ferry Terminal is my greatest trial. Batman, are we... Don't let what Riddler said get to you. Eddie is an idiot, but he's an idiot who built a series of underground death traps across the city. And? And, I just wanted to say, be safe. This is definitely your mess, and I appreciate you cleaning it up. But just be careful while you do it, okay? That was actually a kind of touching sentiment from Catwoman. Maybe she really does care. I went back to the afterlife to check on Talia, and, uh, well... Okay, I'm just gonna stop you right there. Thing is, Talia and I just want you to be happy. I tell the little pussycat how you feel while you still can, Patsy. Cause when I take over your body and lock you away in a tiny little corner of your mind, I'll kill her first. Ranala Ferry Terminal. Okay, Riddler. This game ends now.